Welcome to Funky Science. I'm Professor TJ. And her sister Nelly Welly. Today we have a fantastic experiment for you. For you! But before we start, let me tell you something about this experiment. In a liquid motion lamp, like a lava lamp, the heat usually comes from the light bulb. The heavier liquid absorbs the heat and as it heats up, it expands. As it expands, it becomes less dense. Because the liquids have very similar densities, the formerly heavier liquid is suddenly lighter than the other liquid, so it rises. Today, we will show you how to make your very own lava lamp. This is what we will require. A clear plastic bottle, vegetable oil, water with food coloring, and fizzy tablets. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing your experiments. Safety first! All the time! So many ready? Yes! You ready to start? Yes! Okay, so I'll open our container that we're going to use, mm -hmm. then I'd like you to pour in some water. Not a lot. That's enough. Then, I want you to pour in the oil. Let's see what happens. I don't think the one is. I think the one is. No. Okay, continue. Let me see the oil. I continue. Yes. Yeah, that's enough. And then I want you mm -hmm. to break one of our tablets. Just so you can break it on the plate. Yeah. Break it again. Again, smaller. Yes. And place one inside. This one or this one? Whichever we want to put in. Okay. Put it in. Add another one. Let me see what's happening. Bubbles are forming. Let me see. Uh huh. You can see it's moving. Like that more. You have to add another one. Yeah. Break it. Okay, add it. The oil and water added to the bottle separate from each other with the oil on top because it has a lower density than water. The food coloring falls through the oil and mixes with the water at the bottom. The piece of fizzy tablet dropped in releases small bubbles of carbon dioxide. That rises to the top and takes some of the colored water along for the ride. The gas escapes when it reaches the top and the colored water falls back down. Adding more fizzy tablets to the bottle keeps the reaction going so you can enjoy your funky lava. I hope you at home were able to make your own lava lamp. This is all we have for today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!